watching the media, using the media, listening to the media, reading the media. The media are so much influential and they are present in the lives of everyone. All the means of communication, they have to be either anchors on television, writers or editors of newspapers. This is not what is meant by communicating. But somehow, you have to be involved in the work of da'wah. And da'wah does not mean that we have to employ only mass communication. We have to employ all possible means of communication. Obviously, we need to have an alternative, an Islamic alternative to the mainstream media. And the mainstream media have their own interests, have their own agenda, and they may or may not agree with us, but obviously they have their own set of agenda, which mostly are in the hands of those who have the power. It's either the governments or the business community and the capitalists and those who have their own ideologies. And they are using the media, obviously. That is mainstream idea. And we have to use that media, whether it's our own or the mainstream, obviously not abuse, but rather use in the most positive sense. I'm saying this because Yes, some people think that we take advantage of what the media can give us, the time and the space the media can give us. But actually, we're not abusing that. We're not deceiving. We're not playing. We are actually working honestly to present the word of truth to all people in the best way that we know it, in the best way manner and most professional way. I have so many benefits that I can go on and on and talk about the benefits of the media. Let me talk about how we can connect the members of the same ummah all together through the media. You know, we talked about introducing scholars and preachers and da'is and all these people, but yet we can also connect groups in nations. We can connect people who dwell in Mumbai, for example, to the people who are in Rome, in Italy, or people who are in Rabat, in Morocco, or people who are in Lagos, in Nigeria, and people who are in Melbourne, in Australia, all at the same time. They belong to the same ummah, and yes, they feel it when they communicate with the media. I was talking to a friend of mine that I have never seen for 10 years and I said well look there you are I haven't seen you for 10 years he said well I'm seeing you every week and this if it were not for the media if it were not for the channel that he sees it would not have not been possible but this is just an example to show you that we can be connected together by the grace of Allah and these means of communication are either a blessing or a curse. Yes, they are a blessing if you use them rightly, if we can do all the good through the media, and obviously they could be a curse if we use them for introducing evil and doing harm to others through the media. Obviously, we need to support the traditional, as we call them, traditional ways of da'wah. Yes, da'wah is an individualistic work. If it is one-on-one -on -one and people talk to each other. That is the best form of da'wah, the most influential, by the way. More influential than the media themselves. But yet at the same time, supporting that means of delivering a speech or a lecture or a seminar or a workshop or an assembly, all of this is important and would be supported by the mass media. So mass media is so important to help in that direction. Let me say that if we have all these benefits, can we 
do whatever we'd like with the media? Is it permissible for us to use the media the way we like, the way we want? We would say no. You know, today I was talking to some friends about the ethics and morality that is fading away from the lives of so many people. And unfortunately, let me say that it is disheartening to see that colleges and universities and schools are not teaching children morality. They're not teaching them the principles and values of goodness. They need to be taught that everything you do has to be guarded by virtue, has to be guarded by great and good and pure intentions. And without this, our world can go into chaos. Yes, indeed. Whatever you see, the failure in the various systems that may govern here and there is because of the lack of moral values in conducting people's affairs. And I've heard during this trip enough about the lack of morality in many sectors. But this is, by the way, not the exclusive monopoly of one country or one society. Unfortunately, this is a widespread phenomenon that you can find it everywhere. But that's too bad. That has to change. And the media have to be a part in the change. But before they work for change, they have to go by the principles that they call to. If you want to call to the path of Allah, which is pure and light and good, you have to do it in the most pure and the most bright and the most great way. Let me talk about the content of the media. The content has to be obviously true and honest. And we have always to give the evidence from the glorious Quran and the Sunnah of the Prophet ﷺ for whatever we do. Otherwise, how could people believe us if we say something out of our own, not based on what is in the light of the glorious Quran and the sanctuary of the Sunnah of the Prophet, peace be upon him. These media should not include anything that is prohibited and should not employ prohibited ways in presenting the teachings of Islam to others. Yes, we have seen people who use different ways in medias. You know, if you think that we can get only masses, we can get huge crowds if we present dancers, women dancers, right? And have them on the stage and play to the audience and say, hey, this is a good way to preach the message of God. But obviously, this is not the way. The way is to stick to the truth and to hold on to what is right. This is so much important. And unless we do that, and I know the path of media in Islam is so full of challenges, so full of many obstacles. You know, there are some people who think that putting or showing pictures of people is taken for granted. This is not so for some scholars of Islam who say that even showing pictures is not allowed. Although there are many, alhamdulillah, who are saying that it is permissible to transmit television pictures and even pictures in the media, but obviously these pictures should be for things, objects, and humans that can be seen in public. In other words, we cannot show women you know, not dressed modestly and properly when we show them in pictures. What about the use of music, for example? Is it allowed? Can we just play music in order to attract the audiences and the masses? No, it's not in our hands. That's why it's not easy. There's so much challenge because other so many stations, and many of them call themselves religious, and yet they employ all the possible means Women, 
who dress in the most attractive way, and instead of listening to the message, you listen to the means, as we call them, the channel. You know, whether you look into the message or the messenger or the communicator rather than to communication. That is a problem. And that's why we need to be very careful. We need to follow the directions of Islam in this regard. Yes, it may not be as attractive, but there are so many ways we can do. Let me tell you that I have been impressed, and I swear by Allah, this is honest, that what I have seen on Peace TV is tremendous in the way they are creative in presenting things that are permissible in Islam, yet they are effective and great and can get the attention of people. This is so important in this competitive world of media today. Pearls of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Abu Huraira, may Allah be pleased with him, narrated that the Messenger of Allah, may peace be upon him, as saying, Do you know what is backbiting? The companion said, Allah and his Messenger know best. Thereupon, the Holy Prophet said, Backbiting implies you're talking about your brother in a manner which he does not like. It was said to the Prophet, peace be upon him, what is your opinion about this? That if I actually find that failing in my brother which I made a mention of, he said, if that failing is actually found in him what you assert, you in fact backbited him. And if that is not in him, it is a slander. Sahih Muslim, Volume 4, Book of Virtues and Good Manners, Hadith number 6265. Peace TV presents over 100 million viewers at one of the largest peace conferences in the world, addressing a sea of spellbound spectators. Over 30 world-renowned orators on Islam with credentials impeccable. The truth of Islam. Deen is your way of life. It is our duty, our obligation. By following the Quran and Sunnah, we will give the message to one and all. To one and all. With articulation exquisite. Read the book of Allah. Islam is the easy way. It's the simple way. Remind each other. The Muslim is not a source of harm for other people. Collaborate with the people for good. This is the call of Islam. Is with the mission of spreading the truth of Islam. Do what you can to spread the word of Islam. Wherever we are, live like Muslims. Use your power. Allah is saying, why do you need anything else? This Quran is self-sufficient. The only book on the face of the globe, the Quran. How a human being should lead his life is given in this instruction manual, the glorious Quran. The glorious Quran. The glorious Quran. For peace to prevail on earth in Peacemakers, next on Peace TV. Also, when we call into the path of Allah, obviously, some people would be calling into something other than that, or calling to Allah through their own personalities, their own groups, their own parties, their own whatever. They have their own vested interests. And obviously, unless our work is due to Allah and intended purely for Allah's sake, this work will not be blessed. This work will not be successful, even if we attract masses. Because look at this mainstream media and the deviant media, they are attracting millions upon millions of people. But does this in any way justify their work or make it legitimate? Not at all. There is this challenge and obstacle of show off on media. Many people have that 
whispering of the shaitan in their hearts because particularly on television or even on radio you may have that creeping idea all right people will love me will like me if I say this if I say that but that is a challenge and people who work in the media have to be aware of these challenges also many of those who work in the media particularly who conduct the shows and are involved in the making of the content of the media may not be so knowledgeable about Islam and that is the trick because they can present things in their own way and they may not do it with full knowledge and understanding of the message of Allah glory be to him and the message of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam because after all this is not my own religion in the sense that I am making my own religion no it is the religion of Allah and I'm here a means to help that religion reach into the large audience around the world let me say that unless we carry the right way of faith the correct aqidah in believing in Allah and his messenger according to the right way of the understanding of the companions and those who follow them on the right path we will not be successful we could be calling into cultural Islam into Islam that has been invented by such and such a person or a group but this is not the Islam that was revealed upon Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him this is so important and unless we also practice what we preach we will not be successful because there are some people who might not preach what they call for may not practice what they preach and that is the first step in the path of failure but again one has to be soft has to be kind has to be wise because I said I will explain the wisdom Allah says to his Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmah call upon the path of your Lord with wisdom what is wisdom wisdom first is with the Quran because Quran is wisdom Sunnah is wisdom and also wisdom is to do the right thing in the right time putting it in the right place that is wisdom and unless we do that and we are wise enough to know what to do at what particular time we will not gain the right success and what is good preaching good preaching is to choose your own words is really to be kind as Allah says in the glorious Quran wa qulu lin nasi husna. say to people what is good it's not only that we say good to Muslims and we say bad to non-Muslims no everyone say to all people what is good because that is what's required of us and obviously look because when we are an argument we tend to be aggressive we tend to be very eager to win and to knock our counterparts in the argument no you have to be careful Allah says argue with them in what is best seek the best language the best way the best wisdom and evidence and present it to them that is basically what we need in the Muslim media for da'wah now let me try to conclude within a few minutes and talk about which media do we need to use does any particular medium have any priority over others or are they all the same let me tell you that of course with diversification of audiences today we need all media yet I would say that obviously the media that transmit time and space those who go beyond 
the limited geographical space or time. Have the precedence, television, internet, and radio obviously have an edge over the local media. Yet we need media. And interestingly enough, I have not seen any real strong and good Muslim radio station. Do you know of any Islamic, purely Islamic radio station? I'm not aware of any. And that is interesting. I don't know why Muslims are turning away from radio. Dr. Muhammad, do you know any? I don't know any in any country. Interestingly, yes, we have stations for the glorious Quran in Arabic. Yes, we have so many. Alhamdulillah. But why can't we have an international radio station just like we have Peace TV station or Huda TV station or Islam TV station or so many others? Why can't we have Tranquility radio station just like we have Peace TV station, right? And I am hoping that Peace thinks Probably they have thought, but I'm asking them tonight in front of you to have a radio station that is doing the same message as Peace TV station is doing. Not only do we need one Peace TV, we need so many Peace TV stations. We need to see this an institution, inshallah, that will grow so many stations, so many specialized stations. That is the hope for the future. Because I think to me, this is the way we need to attract so many audiences at the same time. Yes, not everyone is going to watch Peace TV 24 hours a day, although they transmit 24 hours a day. Yet, there are some youth, some women, some children. Interestingly enough, children have their own share and they have to have their own TV stations and radio stations. Why can they have it? as we are having so many internet websites. But look, if you think about the Islamic websites on the internet, they're almost nil compared to the many, many websites that are belonging to other religious groups and other political oriented groups and so many others. Even individuals create their own websites and blogs, you know, all over the world. And yet still the number of websites is alhamdulillah available, but not in the large number that we hope it will be because we need this variety. And of course, internet has an edge. It's cheaper, it's more free, it's interactive, it's so quick, and there are many applications to the internet. All is good. And it's easy to use, by the way. And all of these are advantages that we can use for the internet. But I think it's so important, as I am closing, that we need to call into the path of Allah in totality. We need to call into the religion of Islam First, with the word of Tawheed, because that is the essence of Islam. The bedrock of Islam is Tawheed. The bedrock of Islam and the essential pillar of the faith is La ilaha illallah Muhammadur Rasulullah. And if we don't call into that, everything else is secondary, will come after that, but not before it. Of course, yes, we call into all forms of and different worships of in Islam, such as Salah and Zakah and Hajj and Siyam and so on. And we talk about, it, obviously, all the interaction and, and dealings among people. And we call into the morals and behaviors. But still, what takes precedence here, and we have to emphasize, is the matter of Tawheed because this is the cornerstone of Islam and we have to defend the religion against so many accusations and so many misnorms and misinterpretations 
by some of its followers and many of its enemies. Obviously, we need to present Islam in its totality as a mercy to mankind, as a middle path among the extreme paths, and also the Islam that calls for justice to everyone. I do have some other things, but I think I have a message for you after I allow you to have your own comments and questions and answers, but I do indeed, I do have messages for the audience, not necessarily for those who are interested in creating media, Islamic media or mass media, work for Islamic mass media and try to help the cause of mass media. I will do that after I give my respected audience the opportunity to interact with me. I said what I said out of my own and I seek Allah's forgiveness if I say something wrong and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to keep us on the straight path to help us always say the truth and nothing but the truth. وَآخِرُ دَعْوَانَا أَنِ الْحَمْدُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ وَصَلَّى اللَّهُ وَسَلَّمَ وَبَارَكَ عَلَى نَبِيْنَا مُحَمَّدُ وَعَلَى آلِهِ وَأَصْحَابِهِ أَجْمَعِينَ about the life of our beloved Prophet وسلم, about the incidents that occurred before his prophethood and in Mecca and in Medina, about the names of his loved ones and his wives and his children, how much would we be able to know? How many incidents have we memorized? Brothers and sisters, isn't it more important that we study the seerah of the most important human being who ever walked the face of this earth? Join me, your host Yasir Qadi, as we discuss the most important biography of the most illustrious human being that ever lived, the seerah of our beloved Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Join Yasir Qadi in Seerah of the Prophet, peace be upon him, today at 6 p.m. Saudi Arabia and 7 p.m. UAE on Peace TV. Marriage or divorce? What's Islamic ruling? When you have to keep divorce? Solution or problem? Joint family system. Heaven or hell? Big fat in this conception. You choose. Beauty, wealth, family status, virtue. Decide what you want. Decide your choice. Be sad or be happy. It's your choice. Join Dr. Zakir Naik in Better Half or Bitter Half every Sunday at 7 p.m. Saudi Arabia and 8 p.m. UAE on Peace TV. solution for humanity.